Yeah, I was pretty sure he was saying stonks. Going straight to the moon. No, the levels are pretty low. I can't I can't really hear myself in the headphones. It's supposed to be really low. Because then be really we are low. louder than the music. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Awesome. You can hear us really well. Perfect. Thank Time you. Time for the beer review. Beer review and some chicken sliders. Oh, I dropped my fork. Oh, oh man. This is gonna be epic. <laughs> epic. Yeah. I am a. Uh, I'm did a little put, nervous about this. Did you put NSFW warning on this channel today? Because this well, is about to get messy. This one's going straight out to Dorothy. So Dorothy Liquid, if you're inside, you gotta come here. So Yeah, man. You all know now, just in case you're new. This is where we cook for each other. We raid each other's food and we drink some beer. We like to uh, test out beer that we get every month from Beer Drop. Mm -hmm. Jamie, how are you doing today? You can hear music. Yeah, isn't it great? Yeah. yeah. Like a legit operation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, very, very soon I'll tell you what we are listening. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm legit impressed with these biscuits, to be honest. I made them from scratch, yeah, yeah. as in I opened a can and then I put them in the oven. Oh, see. Thank you, see, Boy. Yeah. Because yeah. I wasn't going to fuck with baking because I hate baking. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah, this is going to be a tense. I'll tell you in a second what we are eating before we get into music. So, this is the third time in a row that we've had this artist because the first time I forgot to change the today's music banner and it said uh, the week before that. Second week, I changed everything else, but I forgot to change the music. So it was still someone else's music. Now, I'm pretty sure it's correct. So we have Entity. Y'all know him. Y'all love him. He loved what we said about him last week. Nice one. But then he was like, that's not my music, though. But I appreciate all the nice things you said. We appreciate what you said. But the th <laughs> third times and you get it right. Yeah, hopefully. So huge shout out to Entity. You know, he DJs, he MCs at the same time. You'll see him. You'll see your moms all up in everybody's chat having a great time. It's ridiculous. Yeah, so he's good. a crazy dude. He's super talented. And I'm... Oh. No. So I'm happy to finally have it correct in the music here. So without further ado, Mr. Entity. Give him his dues. Yeah. Entity.bandcamp.com, soundcloud.com slash entity, instagram.com slash entity, and of course, right here on Twitch, twitch.tv slash entity. He's a great dude. You have to go check him out. Streams are so impressive. Yeah, they're really good. Today, you have the return of Fiction Beer Company. They did. We'll know who Fiction is. I'm going to tell him in just a second. DJ right. oh. Fiction? <laughs> TJ Fiction. Close, but no. Oh. <laughs> DJ Fiction Brewing. That's close. Uh, they have a brewery and tap room in Denver, Colorado. They are super into books. Uh, our love of books is also apparent in our book themed tap room, complete with a bar made out of real books, author quotes engraved in our tables, and bookshelves filled with lending library books. So if you look on there, you can see their bar is made out of actual books. And they have a legit library that you can rent books from because they're, they're super, super into reading. They're super excellent. into books. I thought they just appreciated them enough to use them as a bar. And yeah. <laughs> They love books so much, they will make them unusable by putting them in a bar. Yeah. Yeah, you know, duplicates. Yeah, Maybe but uh, Jaded, you'll remember fiction from the chili beer. Oh, yes. Which yes. is uh, right up there. Ooh, and that was some... It was Hot weird. Stuff. So... Yeah. Today's beer is not a chili. I just totally spaced out. And I was like, yeah. Oh, by the way, we're doing something. I should probably start yeah. talking. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, today's beer is not a hatch green chili. It is Rose of Castile. It is a Vienna oh, lager. Wow. It is 5.7% ABV, and it is 23 IBU. That's a lot of IBUs. I mean, it? it's pretty low. Is it low? It's Com top. Oh, okay. Yeah. Compare it. Comparative. I mean, international bitterness, bitterness units. Yes. Oh, I see. Okay. In all, all of the nations, it, it only has 23 it, of the bitterness units. It seems like uh, a lot of the beers we have don't have too many of those IBUs, but I could be mistaken. We've been going kind of softly. Yeah, yeah. Fiction says rich and complex malt flavors of biscuit. There's that biscuit again that everyone loves biscuit. to describe. Look at you pulling things together. <laughs> Toast and a hint of caramel. It was actually completely random yeah. that wow, we did biscuits. 
In camera, crisp body with lager characteristics and a touch of perceived sweetness. Boom. One of these going on. Yep, one of these is going over to our producer, Mr. Beers and Beats. Producer of Slaw. Thank you. And tell me what you guys are drinking in the chat there. So to go with our beer, I made hot chicken biscuit sliders, and they ended up being bigger. And mix it. So they're chicken thighs marinated in habanero buttermilk. Yep. So that's already got something there. And then the sauce that I made for it is cayenne. It is chili powder. It is red pepper flakes, which I put twice as much as I was supposed to. And some other stuff. And then I may have put a little bit more of habanero sauce in it. A chicken biscuit's supposed to be hanging over the biscuit. It's the way it's supposed to be done. Yeah. It looks perfect. Mm -hmm. Jamie made some yeah, mac yeah. salad here. And the missus, she made slaw. Water? No. Okay, so first of all, you don't drink water. You haven't even tried the beer yet. You don't drink water when you eat spicy food because the oil and the spice, the water just washes it all around your oh, tongue. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. You need dairy because dairy on a chemical level or molecular level surrounds the capsaicin and prevents it from getting into your tongue. There you go. Yeah, so there's that. Amy dug right it's in. It's really so good. Okay, we're going to get this shot. That's a really good crunk. The biscuit and the slaw counter the spice. I was afraid it wasn't going to come out as crunchy as I wanted to. That came out great. Oh, yeah, that's excellent. Oh, that creeps up on you. Yep. Not bad. Spice is perfect for me. Yeah, I don't normally do spicy. It's just not. That's why I was surprised you wanted to do this. So, Jamie knows I'm a huge fan of this guy called Sam. Makes videos on YouTube about cooking. The cooking guy. His name is Sam the cooking guy. Sam the cooking guy's son used to be my co-worker. Sam is good Jordan, friends with him. Jordan, Jordan, not anymore. I haven't, I haven't seen him in a few years, but <clears throat> Jordan, his uh, son used to work for me. He's a great guy. But yeah, Sam. I, I never knew about Sam the cooking guy until he's like, you ever seen my dad on YouTube? I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> That's a weird thing to ask someone. You yeah. haven't seen your dad on <laughs> Have you seen my dad on YouTube? My dad's an OnlyFans. Oh, no. Yeah, um, pretty much on all of my time off of, if I'm not streaming or working on the stream, I'm watching cooking videos. And Sam is one of the ones I watch the most. And this came out recently and I was like, you know what, fuck it, let's try it. It is really good. It hits, so normally with Nashville fried chicken, you're supposed to use whole chicken pieces. I didn't want to do that because I didn't want to fuck with bones. And I wanted to make yeah. an actual sandwich. So Sam's recipe was on a biscuit, but I took it and made it chicken thighs yep. and a biscuit sandwich. It's a very powdery heat. Like you just swallowed a bottle of cayenne powder. We haven't tried it yet. We haven't even tried it yet. We've been obsessed with this sandwich. Okay. I got, we had to get some of the sandwich down, so we need something to drink to them. Yeah, because we had to compare it because they mentioned biscuits. Everyone mm -hmm. compares biscuits. Mm -hmm. Smells like a lager. Smells malty. It's malty. Amy's just digging in on everything today. He's not even waiting. It's like a brown ale to me. That's exactly what I thought right when you said it. Yeah, I got the brown ale as well. Ooh, and it washes uh, it around the spice. Wiggs, you don't wash chicken, by the way. No, if you wash uh, poultry, it will spread salmonella throughout your kitchen. Hey, as long as you cook it right, you don't need to wash meat. Yeah. Cooking it kills whatever is on it. So just cook it properly. You don't need to wash it. Washing it just, yeah, spreads germs in the splash. I really like this. Reminds me of, like Newcastle. Yeah, totally. Like, it's hoppy. And I know I say this a lot. It's hoppy, but not too hoppy. It's I'm trying to find a good way to describe it. 
Malty? Yeah, totally malty. Malty to me. The fire is just spreading around yeah. my mouth. You know, I found the uh, macaroni. Well, cut. It's I dropped cut. my fork, so cream. I have to eat it. Yep. Like a caveman. Cavemen eat macaroni salad? If they did, it would be with their hands. Yeah, that's good. Want to try yours? Want to do it on camera? Or do you want to do What? Yeah, this is a... The kid doesn't want to be on camera, so... Not the coolest freak. I really like this beer. It's It's got good flavor and body, but it's not over the top. It's not trying to over-exaggerate. I think a lot of beers, especially craft breweries, they punch as much flavor, whatever it is. Like if it's an IPA, they're going as hoppy as they can. If they're doing something fruity, they go as fruity as they can. This is a good balance of fall and a little bit of hops. It's, it's not over the top. It's something you can drink more than one. It's not yeah. like you have one and done. You can have a, but you can make a night out of drinking just this. More malty than I like. It's more malty than you like. Yeah. Yeah, I'd have to agree with Jamie. I'm not really a dark beer. But See, it, it goes it goes well with spicy. Totally does. Yeah. Now you say dark. The other night on stream, I had a what was it? Oatmeal chocolate stout. That's pretty dark. That tiramisu one. Yes. Yeah. Fuck that. I did not like it at all. It's a good thing we didn't review that one. Not good. Okay, one more bite. I'm going to give this bad boy a rating. Kind of a mix between a, a red ale and a brown ale. It's it's decent, but I'm not the biggest fan. Got a bit of the reds and the browns. Means that you're calling. I think it's great. It's right up my alley. I've been drinking a lot. <laughs> Of Pilsners and lagers lately, and this is a different lager. Well, probably because it's a Vienna style lager. So it's more of an ale. It's not your just generic shitty lager with no flavor. Like Jamie said, yeah. a mix of a brown, a mix of red. If you know what those are, you can get a good idea. I will say yeah, that yeah, red and your brown, brown, go to the doctor. Yeah, it, <laughs> it doesn't taste cheap, that's for sure. It's, it's definitely got like some quality to it. It might not be, you know, for me, but it's definitely cool. It's really good for what it is. Mm. Not my favorite style. I would say it's good. I would get it. Well, I would get it again. I would get more than one. If I made a night, I could easily make a night out of these. It's great with the sandwich. It, the sandwich is great. Per usual, Jamie finished it. It was not, it was like the perfect spice. Hungry. Yeah. Well, it's hard. I have to narrate, so it's hard mm. to sit here ramming food in my face and trying to bring a show together. I, also, I come here on an empty stomach expecting <laughs> good food. Oh, wow. I like an apple. In the... <laughs> Before I come here, and then we... I should have made Nashville hot there. apples. So, say what, for my first time really frying chicken properly, I think it came out really good. Yeah. I did, I first so time well. making hot chicken sandwich, pretty yeah. fucking hot. Yeah. Like, I'll say, I'm sweating. I'll say I did good in that department. I did I really good on the biscuits, uh, even though the can scares me to open. I hate those things. Yeah, I, I'm scared by that. I put on like a bomb suit, like as if you're going to defuse something. Yep, and then it goes, oh. So, sandwich, I think I did really good on it. I'm happy with it. Dude, you didn't do really good on eating any of it, though. Jesus, come on. Took two bites. Glass to talk into the microphone and, and host a show. I win. <laughs> Jamie wins. Give me one. There. Oh, triple overhead. How are you, dude? Marky. Oh, sure. Made oh, it oh, yeah. So, oh, wow. here. Oh, shirt. Wow. Oh, shirt. Wow. Oh, wow. shirt. We're going to make that a chat command. Sandwich. Great on the sandwich. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Sandwich is fucking awesome. Yeah. Beer. I really liked it. It would be in my upper tier of the beers we reviewed so far. It's not trying to be too crafty. It's not trying to be too wacky. They found a style they're good at, and they stuck with it. They made it the best they could. It's just not like that. That chili one that was just terrible. Yeah, this, this redeems it. This totally redeems it. Like they can actually make oh, beer that's good. 
compliment. Yeah, that's a compliment. So overall, Jamie, what are you thinking about everything? Uh, the the sandwich, I give it a, a nine because that was fucking on point. Nice. I'm happy with that. The, the beer, I'll, I'll give it a. Uh, I want to give it a six and a half because it's not my favorite. For what it is, it's really good. So I'll give it a, a seven point. Point two. That's a higher rating from. That's Jamie. pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna give the beer a six point five because it's it's well done. It's just not for me. Uh, I think it pairs well, but uh, like you know, I'm more of a, a golden kind of Belgian kind of guy. But uh, it's all about those golden showers. That's right. Belgian I, golden I showers. Prefer Belgian, those are pricey. Belgian gold. Uh, so yeah, six point five on the beer. I'm really liking the chicken sandwich. The coleslaw is on point. Fried chicken, the crust, and everything, totally on point. Uh, Nine point seven. Uh, the, well, yeah, well, I'm sorry. I, I apologize. The entire thing, uh, yeah, including the macaroni salad, 9.7. Yeah, I'm I'm really digging this. Down home country food that reminds me of my grandparents. I hope you like it because I made a lot of chicken in it. <laughs> yep. So two pounds of chicken thighs is way more than you think it is. Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. It's way more than yeah. four people need. We'll crush yeah. another one. We'll do it. Yeah. yeah. I'll, have, I'll have another one. Maybe he'll finish one. No, I'm going to finish it when I, someone starts playing. Because Matt eats like a bird. That's going to end up sitting on top of the oven, I bet. No, it won't. I swear to we'll God. We'll find out. We'll find out. So another beer review down. Thank you, Jamie. Well done. Thank well you, Jamie. Done. I think it's your turn to cook next it week. It is. It's your Jerk chicken sandwiches. What are we drinking with it? What are our options? Um, what do we have left? None. We went through them all, so okay. you got to find some. Jamie will surprise us with the beer that goes with jerk. We get a lot of chicken. We're going to do root beer. Well, uh, I'm gonna help you out there. I'm gonna do chili con carne. Con carne I'm gonna do. Carne. Yeah, so in two weeks. I'm gonna do. Like a bowl of chili? Yep. Oh, yep. With like With some fresh chopped cheese. onions, some freshly grated cheese. Yeah. I'm gonna do meats. barbecue cheddar hot dogs. Oh, Which sounds like, stupid. Like, like chili dogs? No, it's. Mean? There's this place in Salem, Mass. We used to go to all the time. It's a hot dog. They toast the bun, but. Breaded cheddar over it, bacon, it... and barbecue sauce. It's fucking oh, amazing. Wow. It's just Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts, you got me. Wait. I like a chili. Whatever the fuck you're talking about. Ba barbecue York. bacon cheddar dog. Is it wrapped? No, oh. it's just on top, but it's so good. In LA, like after all the parties, raves, whatever, I always get alley dogs where there were these people that You had... find dogs in alleys and- No. They were hot dogs. They would have sauteed onions and jalapenos going, and then hot dogs were wrapped in bacon. So it was a bacon wrapped hot dog with jalapenos and onions. It was like dollars. We came out of a, a late night party. It would always be right outside. It was the best thing ever. That's yeah, way more know, effort than I want to put in. Alley dogs. It, oh, that's what I'll do. I'll do with alley dogs one. Day. You, ever, you ever had a hot dog with cream cheese on Who's it? I'm gonna put a record on while I do the outro. I will. I think I was last. So. Who will? Someone yep. else. Another beer review down. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Jaded. Thank you. This I'm wouldn't appreciate. be what it is without them. Uh, I appreciate it so much. These guys are great, and I enjoy having them over. And I enjoy all of you in the chat who watch this, because uh, this is what we love to do. We're a bunch of old guys that love drum and bass. We love food, and we love beer. Not old yet. No, we're old. 